Here we are. <laughs> the philosopher Lao Chu said, A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Kindly allow me to take you back to the first step that has resulted in your being here today. Dear family, friends, and well-wishers, think about the first memories of the graduand whose invitation you have gladly honored today. It may be that first cry when they were born, how they wept when you dropped them off on their first day of preschool, how their behaviors caught your eyes in the high school, or just how helpful they were to you on your first encounter. Dear staff and faculty, do you remember how we, in 2013, fumbled to do the tell me about yourself during our interviews? <laughs> or what you thought of those kids and the many questions they had about Ashesi and its values during orientation in 116. <laughs> Dear graduates, <laughs> reminisce about your first thoughts of Ashesi, your emotions as you went through making the decision to accept the offer Ashesi had given you. Through to the first day you walked in through these gates. Here we are. <laughs> A thousand miles from where it all started, but all because of those first steps. Nana Otin Kranchi the second. Nana Nom, distinguished guest speaker, the vice chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, the vice chancellor of the University of Mines and Technology, the executive team and trustees of Ashesi University College, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Here We Are. <laughs> the class of 2017 is one colorful thread intricately woven into the, the tapestry called <laughs> the Ashesi community. In our vibrancy, we have stood out coming from various spots within the four corners of Mother Africa and the world, it was commonplace to find our Ghanaian classmates trying to quickly correct our Nigerian classmates when they pronounced L-O-V-E as love. <laughs> and to find our Kenyan friends strongly arguing against adding pepper to food to make it spicy. In the end, we got to appreciate our differences and came to the realization that all those arguments were exchanges of love. No. Maybe love. <laughs> we were not only diverse in our nationalities, but in terms of our dreams, our motives for, our motives for accepting the Ashesi offer, and the mental orientations we possessed before Ashesi. Some of us came to Ashesi because our friends were coming too, while others had to follow their family tradition and their parents' dreams of enrolling at Ashesi. Even as freshmen, we had year mates who would strongly argue and defend topics that were not defendable. <laughs> While people like me found it hard to even say our names out loud. Some of us had dreams. Dreams to graduate from Ashesi as people who would start the next business empire on the African continent. <laughs> while others were looking to champion social change and leave footprints of their work on earth. After four years on this hill, here we are, unified in our differences. Here we are, certain that we do not hope to be anything other than ethical and responsible members of society. Here we are. We are a culmination of toils, Yes, and the triumph of toughness. As said by Longfellows, the heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling up in the night. <laughs> 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 
Our journey at Ashesi has been characterized by toiling up in the night, literally. <laughs> the prolonged entrepreneurship group meetings that went, <laughs> that went on until 2 a.m. The codes that refused to compile. The presentations from text and meaning up until capstone thesis and applied projects all made us happily make do with lecture hall chairs as beds. We did not only become nocturnal beings, we became tougher. Sometimes our programmers thought they should be praised for making a program work, but they were usually greeted with Dr. Corses, can you do better? <laughs> and when Makosa announces that it will come by the fall, <laughs> You know that all hope is lost in that upcoming intro to finance exam. On our journey to toughness, you could hear on replay on the music list of most class members, Eradi Beji Siano. While others had Carrie Underwood's Jesus Take the Wheel. <laughs> today, here we are. We have no doubts as we sit here today in our graduation gowns and embellished tassels with our feet burning in our new shoes. <laughs> While we offer silent prayers that our makeup is intact until we take our photographs, <laughs> that the contributions of the faculty and staff, especially the small actions that we may have overlooked, have collectively transformed us. Here we are, not only excited that our tour and late nights are being honored with a great ceremony as this, we are also excited for the fact that we are graduating from Ashesi as people with a sense of purpose and responsibility. If I tell you about how we landed the class party, ladies and gentlemen, you will know that our struggles have not only been academic related, but I think Chantel is in a better place to tell that story. So, <laughs> here we are, even more excited for the fact that we have made great friends who will be the co-founders of our business ventures. Godparents to our children and the loves of our lives for as long as we live. Here we are, feeling super proud that we have left eternal footprints of our stay here at Ashesi. We do not even have to try hard to spray on the walls that we were here so because we will not only be dealing with the wrath of Caspar, but more because we know that the spirit of Ashesi will not forget us. During, the, during Kwabna and Michael's tenure as leaders of the ASC, <laughs> the campus was so vibrant that, ladies and gentlemen, I almost, almost regretted studying abroad that semester. The staff and faculty appreciation day initiated by the Athena has become an Ashesi tradition today. We know that the spirit of Ashesi will not forget us. Parents in Brekoso are happier that they can pay only one Ghana CD as fees for their children's kindergarten education because of the Educare initiative by our very own Efwa Hudson and Susanna. have no doubt that Valentine's Day on this hill will not be the same without Tobel and Latifah's breakfast in bed. <laughs> and oh, who will bring the market to the people again? <laughs> like we'll miss... <laughs> like we'll miss market deals did. <laughs> to the staff and faculty and the entire Ashesi community, here we are with our lives changed after our encounters with you. Your mentoring and coaching have carved out an army of thinkers who believe in the power of possibilities. We no longer... I'm sorry. <laughs> Your mentoring and coaching have carved out an army of thinkers who believe in the power of possibilities. We appreciate your efforts. You are awesome. And today we say a collective thank you. Ashesi gave us a safe space to discover who we are, 
identify opportunities, and work towards finding solutions to them. We no longer consider ourselves inferior of achieving great fits, not when our lecturers and staff members are doing so. To the Ashesi University Foundation, the MasterCard Foundation, and to, and to all donors whose financial support has contributed to our education, we would like you to know that you made many of our lives brighter. To our parents, here we are. The products of your hard work and sacrifices. Our names will be renowned for generations to come through the works of our hands, just because you gave it all for us. To the world, here we are. Ready to leave you a better place than we found you. We'll be doing all we can to make your picture, your big picture more beautiful. Even if our jobs will be just washing the paint brushes for the artists, rest assured that the strokes on your canvas will be a whole lot better with the Ashesi class of 2017. <laughs> Dear class of 2017, Ashesi has taught us many things. But one lesson that has stood out for me is about the essence of making small contributions towards achieving a big dream. Ashesi has taught us that the donors, the lecturers like Senna and Dr. Amankwa, the operations personnel like Kaspar and Anarema, the shop attendants like Fifi at Essentials, the gardeners are the people who make big dreams like Dr. West Ashesi a reality. So if you start out playing supporting roles and are always behind the scenes, do not feel less of yourself. Do not undervalue your contributions. Know that you are playing a major role in the big game, and the big picture will not be the same without your contributions. And of course, always remember that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Dear class of 2017, here we go!